you for coming to the Amber Shows. After you watch my show, please share it, leave a comment, and I'd appreciate that. Now, I'm with my nephew. He's actually my cousin, but he's a little younger than me. And his name is Asani Kai Kudo, Kudo. Kudo Volt. He is part Japanese, his mom is Japanese, and his father is my cousin, I'm proud to say. So, I just want to talk about his culture because he lives in Japan a lot of the year, and he goes to Japanese school, and he has people who are, cannot really actually embrace him being a black man, young man, and being Japanese, the things that he goes through. Uh, so we're just going to, and what he does when he's in Japan, their culture there, and his Japanese friends, we're just going to have an all-out talk. So this is part two of Asani Kai. Things that I have forgot to ask you. Say hi, Asani. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, the things I wanted to ask you, the one thing I wanted to say, so why, what, why, do you, why do you have problems with kids in school? Mm, Some kids. Probably because they don't see me as them, um, because I'm like, different. Like, like in Japan, they... I don't look like them. That's probably like my hair is different, my skin tone is different. Yeah. Because your hair is different and your skin tone is different? Mm -hmm. Okay, and your skin tone is beautiful. That's number one, we want to say that. Um, and your skin tone is because when you have black blood, you know, the melon, that's what happens. You, you come out just this gorgeous color that everyone wished they were. And your hair actually grows to the heavens because whose hair can get like this except a black man but you also have a beautiful texture which comes in with your Japanese culture as well. The questions I wanted to ask you real quick, I don't want to keep you long, but um, tell me about what it's like when you live in Japan. Well, I mean it's normal. I like to spend time with my grandparents. And do, do you live in a sub, you live in what city in Japan? I live in Tokyo but it's more in like the suburbs, like right outside of the city so it's still the suburbs. Well, like I've seen on television, do you guys actually really sit on the floor to eat with small tables and sleep on floors? How does that go? How, what, well, what do you do in your culture? That's more traditional and like like wearing all the kimono and like you see that on TV. But now we're more like good on tables and chairs. Like Where do you sleep? Do you sleep on beds or? We sleep on the floor. Yeah, like a, it's kind of like a mattress. Yeah, it's like, like a, a futon. Like a futon, yeah. Oh, okay. And I want to tell you this. When people tell you that you look different or kids in your, in your culture, in your, um, your, 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 your age group, uh, I think when they tell you that you look different, um, you can just tell them thank you because you do. You are different, and it's so much better to be different than to be normal. <laughs> and, so, and you speak fluent Japanese. Yes. Can you say something to the people out there in Japanese that would be something positive? to let people know who you are in Japanese. And what does that mean? I mean, I love you guys all. And, yeah, yeah. That is so fabulous. And what, what type of um, sports do you play? Because you said you love sports. Uh, I play soccer and basketball, but I like basketball more. And in Japan, what what is the sports over there? Well, it's more baseball, but they're kind of getting into soccer. But yeah, that's most of the sports. And, and they're kind of like volleyball. In volleyball? Yeah. And you said that you are a straight A student. You made one B. Yeah. <laughs> and otherwise a straight A student. And you went to Japanese school in, in New York. Uh, were you? Were there any other um, black uh, uh, biracial Japanese uh, kids there? Mm, not really, but a lot of them were mixed. Like they're white and Japanese, they're Hispanic and Japanese. And then, that's okay. And Actually, yeah, there's one. There's one. one? And in Japan, um, do you have any biracial or Japanese black uh, friends? Yeah, like some of them are my mom's friends. They have kids, and yeah, they're my friends. And are you? How are you accepted in Japan as being a Japanese man I mean, with 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 melon and and curly hair? They look at me different because I don't think they really like see people like this, and they don't really know how to handle like me. Well, let me tell you this. If anybody says that you're different, make sure you say thank you. Um, you're brilliant, uh, you're beautiful, and you're smart and talented. And I'm so proud to call you my cousin. I love you. Thank you for coming to the Amber Shows.